Hey Spectrum, I'm Marcus. And I'm Kenzie. We're almost to the last month of the school year. With all that excitement, we have a lot of news to get to today. The noise starts now. and NJHS induction ceremony is this Friday at 5.30 and the band concert will follow at 7. We hope to see you all there. Calling all high schoolers grades 9 through 11. Are you interested in making a difference at Spectrum? Do you have ideas that would like to be heard? If your answer to the previous questions were yes, then you should consider being a part of the 2019-2020 Student Council. Applications for new members can be found outside of Profe Bronco's room and need to be submitted to her no later than 3.30 p.m. on Friday, May 10th. This summer will feature a record number of summer sports camps held right here at Spectrum. There are flyers available at each school office. Registration for camps with activity fees may be done through Infinite Campus. Pre-registration is not necessary for camps and practices that do not have a fee. Wheels Driving Academy will be holding their driving classes again at Spectrum from June 3rd to the 14th. Classes would be Monday through Friday from 9 to noon in room 110. If you're at least 14 and a half years old and would like to join this class, please contact Wheels Driving Academy. This class is limited to 30 students, so sign up by visiting wheelsdrivingacademy.com. Spectrum will be offering a physical education class worth a semester of credit over the summer. This class meets during June and July. Interested students can pick up the course information and registration form in the College and Career Center. The tickets have been purchased, the clothes have been bought, and preparations have been made. We wanted to wish all the upperclassmen a safe and happy prom this Saturday. I know I'm excited. Me too. I'm also excited to get an update on our Spectrum Sports. Let's sauce it over to Brayden. Welcome back Spectrum, this is Spring and Brayden is finally here. Boys baseball faced Heritage and Rival Pack last week with some good games and so far have been starting off the year red hot under new head coach Mr. Zerby. Today they head to Barker's Alps Park to face St. Croix Prep. Girls softball faced Providence, St. Croix Prep, and Pack last week with solid effort and good games and had a nice tournament over the weekend at Concordia Academy. Today they face Bram High School. Girls golf had their first meet last week and boys golf had three meets in a row today heading to Edinburgh for the third. Track had a meet Thursday in Big Lake, and this upcoming Thursday, they head to Princeton. Well, let's hope that I didn't miss anything. So, to conclude my time here, we'll send it over to commercial. This has been Braden Nashville with Sports. Thank you, and take care. Hi, sweetie. How was school today? It was great. I got my yearbook. What? Let's see what nice things people wrote to you. Oh my gosh, Susan gave me her number. See you later. Susan, you'll never guess what somebody said about me in my yearbook. Oh gosh, what? <laughs> somebody told me I was ugly. What? Yeah, I can't believe they did that. Gosh. I just, I don't know why. I'm so crazy. I'm so hurt. I don't know what's going on. I know. Oh my gosh. Whoops, hold on. I'm getting another call. Boop, boop. Hello? Is this Susan? This is Shay. Did you write something about my friend in their yearbook? What thing? You're stupid. Yeah, that was me. You probably shouldn't do that. It's not nice to write mean things about people in their yearbook. You're right. I mean, yearbooks are memories that are supposed to last for a lifetime. And a lifetime shouldn't be filled with mean messages from your friends. When we distribute our yearbooks, please make sure that you don't write anything in someone else's yearbook that could hurt their feelings or come across as bullying. Also, don't give your yearbook to people you don't trust because these things are gonna stay with you for a lifetime and make it a nice and kind lifetime. Great job, guys. Throughout this school, many students have different type of allergies, whether it's to nuts or to certain perfumes or colognes. But what can we do as a school to help out these students and their allergies? Let's throw it over to Kat and Carter for the scoop. <laughs> When hungry, many people will grab themselves a snack without thinking twice. However, this habit could result in tragedy for nearby students with allergies. I'm mostly just allergic to peanuts. A lot of fruits, and then like tree nuts, like horses, bananas, mold, like outside stuff. Thus. At Spectrum, students with allergies are equipped with everything they need in order to stay safe at school. Well, I'm kind of like always in danger of having a reaction, but I carry my EpiPen wherever I go. So like if I do have a reaction, 
I'll be safe. I have like allergy pills in the nurse's office, so if I do have an allergic reaction, I have what I need. Even though people with allergies have limitations and have to be cautious with what they eat, it is important for other students to be cautious as well in order for everyone to be safe. I don't want other people not to be able to like live their lives just because I'm like allergic to stuff. Regardless of whether anyone in your class has an allergy or not, it is important to not eat in your classroom to ensure the safety of other students. This has been Kat and Carter for Noise News. Stay safe. Well done, fellows. Here at Spectrum, students have the option to participate in a wide variety of sports, many of which have captains. But what does it take to become a captain, you may ask? Let's go on over to Kaylee and Paul for the noise. Every sport has its own unique family dynamic, and one of the pillars of that family are team captains. So when I, was, I became a gymnast because when I was little, I would just do cartwheels everywhere I went. So my mom had to make a rule of doing no, cart, no cartwheels in restaurants. So eventually she just put me in, into gymnastics rather than other sports. So. I joined swimming and diving because I was a gymnast for a long time, so the flipping aspect of being a gymnast correlated to diving really well. And then track, I joined in seventh grade just because I was fast from gymnastics already. So it all kind of went back to gymnastics. Uh, so what influenced me was when I was younger, I did a bunch of different sports like basketball, football, baseball, and I always was one of those kids that just kept on running no matter what was happening. I always didn't run out of energy. So my parents thought, hey, might as well try cross country because I feel like you would be good at it because you just keep on running and you don't stop. Team captains are passionate about their sports and their team. I like those sports because they burn a lot of energy. So during the day, you know, fidgety, you, you, you know that you're going to get a nice good run in or a nice good swim in. And so you get all that energy burned off. Uh, I love cross country. Um, I just love the atmosphere about it, how it's just like gives you the best shape of your life just because you just keep on continuing to run and it just uh, proves your mental state because that's like the main part of running is getting the mental state stronger. It's probably being able to inspire kids to make them do better in their sport. I would say probably just getting to know all the new runners coming in and just helping them to understand the sport and how to do it. That and also planning because before even the season started uh, me and the other captains would come into the school early in the morning with our coach and just plan all the trips, like the field trips that we would take uh, once over the year, or all the long distance plans and all the fun, exciting things that we'd be doing over the season. Joining a sport can be a positive influence to those who put effort into the sport. And uh, it's just a great family to be around and you just become very uh, active and you just become in the best shape of your life. This has been Kaylee and Paul, Noise News. Speaking of sport captains, the Spectrum track team has the honor of having one of their old captains come back and work as a coach for the team. That's right, let's run on down to a story on the 2017 graduate, Davey Jackson. Davey Jackson is one of the coaches of the track and field team. Some of you may know her as she graduated from Spectrum two years ago. Been in it since I was in ninth grade, and then I was captain junior year senior year and then they were like come back and i was like okay so here we are <laughs> last year she decided to come back to be a coach so sitting, okay so here's the story we're sitting at a swim meet and coach b is behind me and he kind of like leans forward and was like like what are you doing like what's going on and i was like yeah i'm not in school i'm not doing anything and he's like do you want to come back as a track coach and i was like Yes. So it was really easy to ask David to come back. She already had bought into the track and field program and seen results for herself. Also, uh, David was just an exceptional person when it came to relationships and she had, was willing to make the time. Her friendly, positive attitude has brought a lot to the track team. She definitely keeps us all together, like no matter what you do. Uh, enthusiasm. She's very enthusiastic and is always cheering us on, and that's the best part about her. Her decision to come back and coach her former team is appreciated by the team as well as the head coach, Mr. Peterson. One of Coach Davies' best features is that she's really good at establishing positive relationships. Um, those that are on the team respect her because she's been there before, not only as a track and field athlete who was able to set several school records, but they also know that she was there as a student leader, as a captain, and so she knows and understands the program, and she's 
greatly respected for all that she brings to the team. Davy Jackson's impact on the track team and the athletes on it will be strong and long-lasting. This has been Caleb and Kenzie, Noise News. Well, Spectrum, that's all the news we have for you today. This has been Marcus Grund and Kenzie Alders keeping you in, in on the, the noise. noise to get to today. The noise starts now. <laughs> Just go. Just, Just go. go. We can three, do it. Ready? In three, two. The NHS and NJHS. <laughs> NJHS. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we gotta go back in. Well, she started like three seconds late, so I was like, okay. Ready? <laughs>